Hi, it's Katrina. From the tiniest babies ever to cute animals that start out ugly, here are 10 amazing cases of newborn baby animals. Number 10. Fennec Fox Native to the Sahara Desert and other parts of North Africa, the fennec fox is the world's smallest fox species. Measuring up to 16 inches long and weighing about 3.5 pounds, their tail length is about a foot long. They might be small, but they have enormous ears. These large ears help them to listen for prey underground and also help them keep cool in the arid desert by radiating body heat. By contrast, they also have thick hair to insulate them during the frigid desert nights. Wild fennec foxes typically mate between January and February and give birth between March and April. Fennec foxes are monogamous and mate for life. Births can happen year-round among captive specimens, with most occurring between March and July. Females typically give birth once annually following a 50-52 to 52 day gestation period, with litters ranging between one and four kits. As if this species wasn't incredibly adorable to begin with, fennec fox babies, called kits, are exponentially cuter, if that's even possible. Newborns are born with their ears folded over and their eyes closed. While they lack their parents' bat-like ears, this doesn't last long. The kids' eyes open at around 10 days old, with their ears following shortly thereafter. They stay in burrows, which helps shelter them from predators, and come out only at night. They are rare as pets, but people who have them describe them almost like active, playful dogs that sometimes get mad. Number 9. Echidna Found throughout Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania, and known for their porcupine-like spines, echidnas are also sometimes called spiny anteaters. Along with platypuses, these unique creatures constitute the world's last surviving monotremes, or egg-laying mammals. Echidnas are terrestrial, having learned to walk and live on land when they evolved from an ancient aquatic ancestor between 20 and 50 million years ago. Around 22 days after mating, females lay eggs, depositing them directly into their pouch. After a short 10-day gestation period, the babies hatch, using a reptile-like tooth to break through the eggshell. Known as puggles, newborn echidnas are incredibly small and larva-like. They remain in their mother's pouch for 45 to 55 days while feeding. The mother then deposits her young into a freshly built burrow, returning every three to six days to nurse her babies until they are fully weaned at around seven months old. Puggles remain in the burrow for up to a year before venturing off into the world. In July of this year, the San Diego Zoo announced its first ever hatching of an echidna, who weighed less than an ounce at birth. Number 8. Giant Pandas Giant pandas are famous for being cute and adorable, but when they are born, they look nothing like their parents. After a few months, the babies are the cutest thing ever, but at first, you might confuse it for a naked rat baby. Mothers give birth from about July to September. Not long ago, a baby panda was born to giant panda Mei Chang at the Smithsonian's National Zoo on August 21st. You can follow them both on the zoo's panda cam. Baby giant pandas are born blind, pink, nearly hairless, and extremely small, weighing just 3.2 ounces on average. In comparison, an adult female weighs about 200 pounds, and a male about 300 pounds. Cubs begin developing black spots on their skin at around one week old. After three months, they weigh around 11 pounds and can walk about a meter on their own. At just 1 900th the size of their mothers, newborns are the smallest babies in comparison to their parents out of all mammals, except marsupials. With a species name like giant panda, it may seem paradoxical that cubs are so small. Their tiny birth size seems to make even less sense upon learning that their fragility and helplessness play major roles in cub mortality rates. They can easily get crushed or forgotten about by their mother. If a panda mother has twins, she will usually choose the stronger cub to raise and abandon the other. In special panda centers, the staff will rotate the two babies between the mother and the incubator so that both are taken care of. Wildlife biologist Dajun Wang explained in a 2013 Huffington Post interview that giant pandas are born extra small as an evolutionary adaptation in response to the creature's reliance on bamboo as their primary food source. Because bamboo has a low nutritional value, it is easier for the animal to convert bamboo into milk than to convert bamboo into animal tissue, Wang said. As a result, cubs need much more maternal care than many other animals, with newborns feeding every two hours. A mother's offspring is usually ready to branch out on their own at around 18 months old. Number 7. Elephant Shark 
Known as a living fossil, the strange-looking elephant shark, also called the elephant fish, and the Australian ghost shark, has the slowest evolving genome of any known vertebrate, remaining relatively unchanged over the last 400 years. The elephant shark is a ratfish species, and it's arguably the closest living creature to the first ever jawed vertebrate, which emerged around 450 million years ago. Found mainly in the waters off Australia and New Zealand, these ancient creatures lay eggs between spring and autumn. Contained in bizarrely shaped, horned, yellowish capsules that you have to see yourself to understand the weirdness of, the eggs open partially a few months after being laid, allowing seawater to flow through. After six to eight months total, juveniles hatch, with each measuring around 4.7 inches long. Earlier this year, Japanese scientists hatched four elephant sharks at the Sunshine Aquarium in Tokyo. The process of overseeing the eggs of this little understood species to term was a trial and error process. While several of the unborn creatures didn't make it, some luckily survived, resembling miniature versions of adult specimens with their prolonged trunk-like snouts, cartilaginous bodies, and large pectoral fins. Number 6. The Blue Whale As the world's largest mammal, blue whales give birth to the world's largest newborns. Mothers give birth every two to three years after a year-long pregnancy, bearing a calf measuring up to 25 feet long, weighing as much as three tons, according to National Geographic. Newborn blue whale calves feed exclusively on mother's milk, consuming around 50 gallons and gaining around 200 pounds a day. This rocket-fast growth period is fueled by the species' nutrient-rich milk, which is composed of around 40% fat and 13% protein, as opposed to the much more watery milk of humans, which is around 4% fat and 1% protein. By the time a calf is weaned at somewhere between 5 and 7 months old, it measures roughly 52 feet long and has gained around 38,000 pounds since birth. Scientists know very little about the elusive blue whale, which is difficult to study in its natural deep-sea habitat. Sightings of baby blue whales and of their mother's parenting behavior are therefore extremely rare. Marine ecologist Le Torres arguably produced the most visible and compelling footage yet of a blue whale calf nursing in 2016 off the New Zealand coast. Filmed from a safe distance using a drone, the video shows a pair of them engaging in some type of coordinated behavior, while the smaller whale alternately comes to the water's surface for air and swims beneath its mother, returning to the same area of her body every time. While Torres cannot prove that the footage displays a nursing blue whale calf, all signs point toward it, making her video one of just a handful that claim to show the behavior. Number 5. Honey Possum also called the Nullbanger, the honey possum is a tiny, mostly nocturnal marsupial species found in southwestern Australia. The species feeds on the nectar and pollen of numerous plants, while sometimes entering a state of torpor to conserve energy in cold weather or when food becomes scarce. Females are promiscuous, mating with many males and giving birth to a litter of two to four offspring after each 28-day gestation period. Newborn honey possums are the world's smallest mammals weighing just 0.0002 ounces. Over the next 60 days, they develop in their mother's pouch, growing to around 0.09 ounces by the time they emerge with their eyes open and covered in fur. These babies catch on quickly. After being left alone in a sheltered area whenever their mother hunts for their first few days after leaving her pouch, honey possums soon learn to grab onto their mom and ride along with her. They become too big to do so after nursing for around 11 weeks, venturing off on their own soon after. Number 4. Paedocypress Carp This fish might not seem that exciting at first glance, but nicknamed the fish that never grows up, the Paedocypress Carp is the world's smallest fish. It reaches an average length of just 0.3 inches. Found in highly acidic, tea-colored waters of peat moss forests throughout Indonesia and Malaysia, they have adapted extremely well to their environment. Found nowhere else in the world, this peculiar species appears to remain somewhat stuck in a larval stage, looking not much different as an adult than it did when it was younger. Researcher Martin Malmström explained that instead of evolving into adults, their development stops in a way that makes them look like larvae throughout their whole lives. They also have very strange genetics. A study of this fascinating phenomenon explained that both the genes and body functions of the Paedocypress carp operate at the bare minimum necessary to survive, with a skull made from cartilage and no bone tissue, and around 40 permanently underdeveloped skeletal bones. 
The water the species lives in has a very low oxygen content, one that scientists once thought couldn't possibly support life, as well as a pH level of around 2.5, or around the same acidity as Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Even more strangely, an analysis of the Paedocypress carp's genome revealed that the creature has lost a lot, around 20% of its hawk's genes, which have an overall control function in the embryo, perhaps playing a role in its simplified physical form. Number 3. Stump-tailed Macaque The stump-tailed macaque, also called the bear macaque, is an old-world monkey found throughout South Asia. In accordance with its IUCN Red List classification as vulnerable, this large primate could go extinct within the next century, especially in the absence of conservation efforts. Reproducing is therefore imperative to the species' survival, although females only come into season once every two years, during which time they mate with several males. Good news for their numbers, the stump-tailed macaque has two mating seasons, one in the summer during July and August, and another in November. After a 177-day gestation, a mother gives birth to a wrinkly pink baby lightly covered in white hair. It's rare for a member of this species to have more than one offspring at a time. This is an evolutionary adaptation that enables new moms to devote all the energy necessary to one newborn. One baby requires copious amounts of time, energy, and food. As a result, mothers who bear twins often abandon one. Scientists were understandably surprised when in 2018 they discovered the first known surviving wild-born pair of stump-tailed macaque twins in central Thailand. Each had a different father despite sharing the womb with its sibling. A study of the rare twins suggests that they owe their survival partially to the tendency for humans to feed them, as well as the mother's amazing ability to somehow meet double the demand that she's normally capable of handling. Number 2. Dick 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 Dicks are a type of small antelope hailing from the Madokwa genus, which encompasses four species all found throughout the bushlands of eastern and southern Africa. Ranking among the world's smallest antelope species, Dick Dicks stand between 12 and 15 and a half inches tall at the shoulder, with a weight ranging between 6.6 .6 and 13.2 pounds, with females growing slightly larger than males. These adorable creatures are monogamous, which researchers believe may be an evolutionary response to the danger of seeking new partners in their predator-filled environments. A mom-to-be's gestation period lasts between 169 and 174 days, at which time she bears a single offspring. Dictics give birth up to twice annually at the beginning and end of the rainy season. At birth, females weigh from 1.23 to 1.5 pounds, while males weigh between 1.6 and 1.75 pounds. Baby dictics, which have a 50% survival rate, nurse for up to six weeks, at which point the mother stops lactating. While incredibly small at birth, fawns grow fast, reaching their full size and going off on their own within seven months of being born. Number 1. Sumatran Rhinoceros Tragically, some animal babies hold the distinction of rarely ever being seen, period, due to their population's perilously low numbers. Because of this, scientists sometimes start captive breeding programs to try saving critically endangered species from the brink of extinction. One such project, called Sumatran Rhino Rescue, may very well be the last hope for reviving the alarmingly rare Sumatran rhinoceros species. It's the world's most endangered rhino, a position it shares with its relative, the Javan rhinoceros. The Sumatran rhino was declared extinct in Malaysia in 2017, and there are estimated to be less than 100 left in the wild in Indonesia. Andatu, the first captive-born Sumatran rhino, entered the world on June 23, 2012, at the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Indonesia's Wei Kambas National Park. He was a big baby, weighing around 60 pounds as a newborn and reaching 500 pounds by the year's end. Baby Sumatran rhinos are born with an oddly large head, which lacks horns and stands in disproportionate contrast to the animal's body and legs. Andatu is now fully grown, weighing in at 1,041 pounds. Last year, the Sumatran rhino rescue announced that he had reached sexual maturity and was fertile and ready to breed, offering further hope of saving this magnificent species as it clings to its existence by a thread. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite baby animal? Which one do you think is the cutest? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. See you soon! Bye!